Just this month, there have been 39 mass shootings in the U.S., two of them in California, in Half Moon Bay and Monterey Park. Each of these hit me. Uh, look, I, I, I'm, I'm a researcher, uh, scholar, and so I'm trying to study this from an intellectual perspective. Um, but it hurts the soul as well. Daniel Webster is the director of the Center for Gun Violence Prevention and Policy at the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health. He's been studying gun violence for 30 years. These mass shootings have a ripple effect through our society much bigger than just the number of individuals who are shot or killed. It, it um, leaves us fearful. It changes our lifestyles and again, robs us of, of freedoms. And he says people are left feeling helpless, believing there's nothing that can be done about one of the most important public safety problems we face. So what's the most effective way to stop mass shootings? What our research shows uh, is most effective is requiring individuals who purchase firearms to be licensed. That means go directly to law enforcement to be vetted, fingerprinted, ideally with some safety training requirements. He also says we need sound policies to restrict access to firearms that have the capacity to fire a lot of rounds at a very rapid span of time. Lisa Robinson, WBAL, TV 11 News.